Hey everybody, Tim here with today's episode of Enterprise, Season 1, Episode 19, Oasis. So this was an okay episode. It wasn't great. <clears throat> it kind of fell into the cliche of like, oh look, there's a famous actor for no reason in the background. I wonder if he's going to be important. Oh look, he is. So before I get too far into it, I'm actually going to start with the beginning because there was actually kind of a big twist. Um... So the whole the whole premise of this in the beginning is that Archer and the crew are talking to this alien who's kind of like a used car salesman. Like he's like a pawn shop owner or something where he trades goods and services and information. And he's like, oh, you guys are looking for something. And well, there's a ship that you guys could get to. And like the camera kept focusing on him. And I didn't, I, he sounded familiar, but I couldn't figure it out. It wasn't until after the episode was over, I looked it up. It was Tom Bergeron. Like, how crazy is that? So, Tom Bergeron, like, I've known him as an act, as more of, like, a, a TV show host or as an announcer, a personality. Most notably is, like, the, the host of Hollywood Squares for years when I was growing up. Um, but never as, like, an actual actor. And so that, it kind of stood out to me. I was like, I, they actually did a really good job. So I thought that was kind of cool to see Tom Bergeron as a character in this and that I never caught before. So after this, <clears throat> like I already kind of said, the, the premise of the episode is the, the crew go and check out this crash ship that crashed years ago, but and it seems like everybody died, but there's still inhabitants on board. This would have been a really good episode if it hadn't been done already on like Deep Space Nine in a much better way, which it's been kind of a while. I think it was Kira and I think it was Dr. Bajir were the ones in that one where like they go to the settlement and it turns out everybody's a hologram. Well, spoiler alert, while the crew are on this ship trying to figure everything out, there's no life signs and it's really weird. Uh, Rene Abajer Noir makes an appearance, uh, the guy that played O in Deep Space Nine, coincidentally enough. And uh, he's always kind of in the background. And like me, I know him because I know what he looks like. And I was like, oh, that's cool that he's in this. But like, why is he always back there? And sure enough, when you get to a certain point, it turns out that this ship crashed like 20 years ago. And Rene Abajer Noir's character and his daughter were the only survivors. And that he's actually made holographic representations of the rest of the crew. And you're like, oh, that's really sweet and also really messed up. <clears throat> but it's kind of interesting. Like, like I said, to me, the Deep Space Nine episode was much better. But this was kind of an interesting episode. Like I said, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. It was kind of just kind of par for Enterprise. Like this whole first season has been such a struggle. So for those who have seen this one, what did you guys think about seeing Rene Abajer Noir in this um, as a character other than Odo? Uh, what did you think about like the whole ghost ship? And if you guys knew know who Tom Bar um, Bear Bergeron, Tom Bergeron, I'm trying to combine the names. Um, if you know who he is, what did you guys think about his appearance? If you knew that was him, go ahead, let me know, and I will see you guys next time for Detained.